Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. And I want to welcome you to the long-awaited return of Masterpiece Theater. It's been a while, but unfortunately the way things have been, you know, I haven't been able to do it. And yes, no, this is not a full return to the old bells and whistles, but I hope sooner than later that version of Masterpiece Theater will return. But I'm really excited to bring to you is a look at two figures just released by uh, Takara, got fresh from Amazon Japan. It is Masterpiece Skids, and it's reboot, Repaint Reboost. We're starting off looking at Skids. Um, this is a beautiful update to the G1 figure. And uh, before I go any further, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the deets on my Patreon in the description below. I want to keep this as short as possible, so I'll spare you the whole spiel. Um, Skids is a licensed re reproduction of the Honda City Turbo. Um, the Honda City is actually the most beloved car in Japan. It has been featured in, like, television shows, anime, Transformers... Um, really is a cultural touchstone. Um, as uh, TF Wiki puts it, the car is more popular than the character Skids ever was. It was available in a variety of colors back in the Diaclone days. Um, and Reboost is a, who we'll take a look at a little bit later, is the Honda City R, which is the car. And that red is like the color. But um, Skids comes uh with a double barrel laser as well as a liquid nitrogen rifle now none of these look like with the exception of the double barrel laser uh the nitrogen rifle does not look like the actual rifle the toy originally came with i think this is more based on the animation model um which is which is fine and kind of cool uh the double now both weapons can either peg into the side or um on the top of the form they're not actually held in the hands which are fully or which are partially articulated three fingers and the one index you can open and close it's really just designed to uh hold uh it's really just designed to open and close to hold items and weapons um you know that is a nice touch because if you remember the original toy the weapons just pegged in like clipped on the arms you know, some of them were sideways, some of them were up and down. Um, now we're starting off in robot mode here with skids. Don't worry, I will show the transformation with reboost. But I figured this was the fun way to start. As you can see, there's the head right there. Nice update, very indicative of the animation model. All of these colors are very nice. You have this uh, purplish blue for the legs and main body, a sky lighter blue for some of the joints and arms. You can hear those uh, ratchet joints there in the leg. You have some outward movement there. Swivel. Really great, fun figure. Uh, oop, just a oh, little, got a little grabby there. With one of the panels, it was kind of just slid it out of position. Oh, oh. oh boy. There we go. Just back like that. And just saw the weapon pop out, but that's okay. Again, can go in the top, go in the tabs on the side. Really nice, really cool looking. Um, a lot of features to this robot. You got a waist swivel, all of that. But you know what? I'm sure you want to see more of the transformation and some of the gimmicks in vehicle mode. So we'll pause, take a look at Reboost. And here is Reboost. As I mentioned, uh, Reboost is based on, is a licensed Honda City R. And like I said, this is the car in Japan. The, like, cultural touchstone. I wouldn't be surprised after a crosscut to see this repainted again as a police vehicle. I think it was actually used as a police vehicle in real life in Japan, but it was definitely featured in at least one anime, if not more. Uh, Reboost also comes with more accessories. Besides uh, a different uh, set of weapons, which are closer to what the original 
Skid's toy and Diaclone robot came with. Uh, it's also the figure also comes with uh, uh, a scooter with a little holographic pilot. And let's take a closer look at the scooter and pilot, which is based on the original Diaclone toy. The pilot is just a clear plastic version of the Spike Wikwiki figure that came, I think, with the latest uh, masterpiece, Optimus Prime. Scooter is a nice little update to the original Diaclone toy. It actually can transform. Uh, it well transform it folds up for storage in the back which the original Honda City came with like a little scooter what you want to do is uh, flip up this back panel to free up that little black seat rotate it out to the side rotate the handles of the uh, scooter in and then get them fold them down into the main body continue to rotate the panel there all the way up so that it's actually flush with that ribbed section. When going back into uh, scooter mode, make sure that's flat. And this will push down and sit flatly. Put that off to the side for the second as we come in and take a look at the actual car. A uh, little bit of die cast here, some nice paint work on the uh, uh, details and all that great stuff. Let me just give it a little squeeze there. Some, you know, really. This is one of the best, uh, I got spoilers. This is one of the best masterpiece vehicles I've handled in a while. You know, it, it, you don't need a degree from MIT to transform it. Let's come around the back here to open up the back. Get a thumbnail underneath. Just try to get it started a little. And really, what you're going to do, once you get it up a little, you want to pull it out to be able to open it all the way. And there you saw the little G1 style mortar launcher popping out of the back and then um, inside pegged together are the double barrel laser and then this uh, other laser pistol which actually looks like the original nitrogen gun and you pull that out flip out the barrel just like so and then you can use the little tab there to flip down the handle but, I mean again the figure doesn't really hold it by the handle it pegs it just there it still pegs into the forearm and so uh, of course it's giving me a little bit of a hard time Uh, yeah, it's a little, joint's a little tight. Uh, there we go. I think it almost, there we go. I got it. So there it is. And unfortunately, you have to make the choice of either storing the weapons or the scooter in the uh, back here. You pop it open, just pop it in there. And it's, uh, just, well, just, just really sits there. Close it up. Push it back shut. Now you can come around the side here and pop the door open. I'm going to use a little force to do that. Just be careful. It is clear plastic. And there is enough space for the little clear figure to fit in. I think if my hands were a little smaller, it would be a little easier to do. But there's that. So... Let's get all these accessories out of the way. I'm going to leave the door open. We'll get into the transformation right now. So, if you if you have if you store the weapons, remove them. If you store the scooter, remove it as well. Um, open up this other side door here. Same way. Uh, it does peg into uh, the little bit down here at the bottom, which becomes the uh, uh, side part of the chest just in case you were wondering now the instructions show you to open the door in a couple different ways because it is on a little bit of a slide but I noticed just through the motions of opening it 
it slides and does all that. Now there is a little bit of an issue on my version of Reboost. Uh, there is a little bit of, I think, warping here on the uh, hood of the car. It happens, but it does make it a little bit easier to open up. So what you want to do is lift it up slightly, then come in through the back, slide it forward. Nice detailed look at the engines and electronics going on in there. Fold the side view mirrors in as far as it'll go. Then what you want to do is push it back as far as it'll go and press it down so it'll lock into place. And there you go. Now to continue with the transformation, you're going to pop this roof section free. It might, just from opening the back hatch, might do that naturally. And you'll proceed, you'll start by folding what's going to be the legs down and out. Come around the back here, flip up what will be these uh, the fake uh, hatch and then uh, you'll swing the legs all the way up and around. And basically what's going to happen is that'll start to, you'll peg it into place and that'll cover up the legs. Now what you're going to do is bend this section down and it'll snap into place at the upper part of the leg. And by this point the legs should have uh, separated just like so and uh yeah you already have the legs starting to come along quite nicely let's come around down around here and we're going to work on the feet um you want to grab it by the wheel bring it down bring it out just like so you'll rotate this uh, blue, the toe forward that'll peg into the foot and then you'll flip out the heel section and then rotate the wheel all the way around to the inside this is very similar to the original transformation of the G1 toy so just bring that down again flip forward the toe snap it into place flip out the heel, rotate the wheel in. And then what you're going to do is bring the legs back. Now the instructions show pulling slightly down. Um, I've noticed that in the course of transforming, the torso will actually, the legs will come down naturally on their own. You just want to have a little bit of space here because we're going to work on the arms. Fold them out a little slightly and then proceed to rotate until you have uh, what will be the fist facing fo forward-ish, and then fold it out. Repeat again on this side. It, it's it's really shown as multiple steps, but it's you end up doing it as one step because once you start rotating it forward, it's gonna it wants to come out like that. So we're now coming up on the top side. Fold down these little side panels that are on right around where the shoulder is. Um, now this is a cool part here. Grab the arm, rotate all the way around. This panel is gonna come up, fold over, and tab into a slot on the wheel. And that will basically cover up the wheel. Uh, just line it up and uh, snap it in just like that. And then go ahead and straighten out the arm. We're going to repeat on the opposite side. Keep going. There you go. Just line it all up. Goes in quite nicely. Fold it out. Fold it out. Rotate the whole section at the wheel up. So this little cross section is facing towards you. Then rotate the uh, um the the arm right above the elbow bicep joint right there and right oh right there and then just rotate it down on the arm joint and believe it or not we're almost done the next big thing we're going to do 
is start collapsing the torso down. You'll uh, go ahead and bring the front of the vehicle forward. Now, I recommend keeping the arms at a little bit of an angle to do this so you can have a little view. The first step is, let me rotate that back. See these blue sections? They're going to come up and peg into the side there. Now, the next step is these side panels fold up, and there are two slots right underneath the hood that they peg into. And that will help secure the arms and the torso into place. I do notice on Reboost, they tend to peg in a little bit easier than, say, on Skids, which is a good thing. Now, we're going to deal with the little backpack section. Push the hatch down. Push it in. Fold it up again. And then fold it down, the roof down, so the windshield pops up. And this is going to fold backwards, and there's a slot in that groove, you, in that little folded groove section you made with the hatch in the back part of the roof. There's a slot that's going to tab into uh, the right there, and that will also help secure uh, joints into place make sure everything is pegged down and then finally come in here grab if you, this really helps you have a fingernail which i do little notch right there you bring up the head swivel it up all the way and here we have reboost in its robot mode oh i almost forgot there is one step that the instructions show and that's pulling out the legs to the side. You grab them here, and they're supposed to pop out. I've noticed that during the course of transformation, especially when transforming the legs, they'll move into position on their own. But when going back to vehicle mode, make sure the first thing you do is that you push them back in. Um, they should feel a little snap or a pop or something, but that's what they do. And to get them out, just push out right there. It does make a difference uh, to how the figure uh, responds to the transformation, the legs coming together, everything packing up, stuff like that. So, yeah, I, I really wanted to make a note of that one little spot. I'm sure if I mentioned, but there is some great ankle tilt here, as well as forward and back movement. I mean, they really, I mean, I think Takara knew that this was going to be a desirable figure uh, because of the whole uh, city anniversary. It's 40 years, by the way. We'll pause and we all feel old, but yeah. So there's Reboot's head. Let's armor him up. Here's Now this laser is what I think the original liquid nitrogen rifle was based on. Um, I think according to the little bio, this is a laser dagger blaster that actually will not hurt humans or buildings, just Decepticons. And let's armor him up with the classic mortar launcher. Put it on the side there. So, yeah. There you go. There's Reboost. Let's uh, have some fun and bring in Skids. You can see the difference in color in terms of, uh, you know, uh, obviously one's blue, one's red. You see the difference in the head? I think this is going to be Crosscut's head as well. Uh, really, I, I just can't get over how awesome this figure is. Um, both of them. I mean... I haven't been this happy and this excited to have the tactile feel of this of a figure like a masterpiece figure in a very long time. I mean, you look at you know masterpiece the masterpiece Optimus Prime 3.0, masterpiece Hound. Um, I skipped over masterpiece RC and a lot of the um, uh, Beast Wars masterpieces because I heard they were fragile. 
but it's like you transform those back and forth. It's ba you're basically um, earning your degree from MIT in engineering. So, yeah, really cool looking figures. Um, I do appreciate the little bit of retooling here on the chest, on the grill. The turbo has that half grill. The R has the full grill with the Honda logo. Oh, just incredible. I, I'm just looking at these and these are so awesome. It's like it, the transformation, once you do it once with the instructions, it's intuitive. Uh, and like again, tactile fun. I, I really have to stress that. So I'll pause and I'll come back with my final thoughts. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me just say Masterpiece is back. I, at least I hope it is. Um, great G1 updates. A great updates to classic G1 characters um, with an advanced transformation that's not overly complicated. Yes, I agree. Out of all the figures to get a Masterpiece uh, update, Skids would, is not on the top of my list, nor is I, do I think it's on the top of anybody else's. Like I said, it's the 40th anniversary of the Honda City. You know, it's a gift. And if this sells well, who knows? We might actually get, continuing our celebration of the 35th anniversary of Transformers the movie, Galvatron, Cyclonus, Scourge. Oh, wait, you know... I think the tran the Transformers movie didn't come to Japan to like four years later or so, so it might be a while. But who knows? We might finally get a masterpiece jazz. But again, great figures, definitely worth the purchase, and they're affordable. I, I have to stress that this is under a hundred dollars. Um, you know, each one. It's around seventy. US 78 US um, buy from like Amazon Japan or somebody like that don't use a debit card if you're buying from Amazon Japan um, but yeah it's money well spent really it's, ugh, I, I, I can't stop gushing thank you so much for watching thank you again for joining me for Masterpiece Theater happy holidays for your old, this is your old pal Chuck for skids and reboost we will see you next time.